Well, my name is Julie. I am the assistant manager at the Caboose Motel in Titusville, Pennsylvania. We have 21 actual cabooses that have been renovated into hotel rooms. My mom is the, the general manager and I just started working here. It was like a second part-time job and one thing led to another and next thing you know I'm doing groundskeeping and then I'm doing maintenance and then I'm doing housekeeping and I run the office and so thanks mom. <laughs> We are owned by the Oil Creek Railroad Historical Society. They also own the, our train next door. So this is the Oil Creek and Titusville Railroad. They have, it's a three hour train ride through the valley that changed the world. Um, goes through all the oil boom area and it's a really nice ride. You go down to Rind Farm in Oil City and then the engine actually comes back and gets on the other end and pulls the train back. People come to Titusville because this is where the first oil well was drilled by Colonel Drake. We have his picture on the wall right there. This is our Oil Creek and Titusville caboose, which is named after the train that is next door to us. This is what one of our king rooms look like. They all pretty much look the same. Ten of the cabooses came from the former mill, restaurant, and lounge, and Casey's Cabooses, which is just kind of across our parking lot. And the other 11, the Historical Society purchased and, and brought in, and they are actually sitting on the actual train rail. So when a car goes over the tracks, you, if you're in, in one of the cabooses, you can feel it because it's bumping the tracks. Growing up here, you go on the train a lot. It's every, every year your field trip in elementary school seems to be going on the train and going to Drakewell Museum. It is pretty awesome history. Um, the cool thing about the train is we have the only still in operation railroad post office car. So you can actually mail a postcard or a letter from that car on the train while it's moving. We are open from the beginning of May until the end of October every year. It's just seasonal. The train actually doesn't open until June and they run June to October. Like I said, we had 21 cabooses. All of the cabooses either have one king bed or two double beds. Each caboose has their own bathroom. That unbelievably is our number one question if they have their own bathrooms and they do. They're set up exactly like a regular hotel room. Most of them have microwaves and refrigerators in them. I had to go up the ladder to get on the one roof and I was scared to death. And he just jumps from roof to roof to roof. This one is set up just a little bit differently. Once the train gets past the platform at Drakewell Museum, you're free to move about the train. And a lot of people will go out onto the open car. And um, it's the very last one right now, just the way that it's, it's set up. You know, no top on it, no seats really in it. The best way to reach us is just by calling us. Uh, we're a mom and pop shop and we'll tell you what we have available and we do fill up fast, especially on weekends. There's a lot of weekends that we're already completely full. So best to call ahead and not just show up. My personal opinion is that we should turn it into a bunkhouse and put, you know, like a bunch of, you know, 16 people can fit in their party wagon kind of thing. <laughs>